What's up? This is M squared. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use my MPC 2000 XL as a controller. But not only that, I'm going to show you how I use it as a hybrid and go between controller mode and standalone mode using Logic Pro X. Stay tuned. As you can see here, I have my Akai MPD32 and I have my Akai MPC 2000 XL. The first thing I do is take a MIDI cable and go from the MIDI in of my MPD32 and connect that to my MIDI out A of my MPC 2000 XL. So again, you're gonna go MIDI in from the MPD32 and connect that to the MIDI out a of the MPC 2000 XL. Since I like to utilize this setup as a hybrid between MIDI and audio so that I can go back and forth on my MPC as a controller and as a standalone within the same session, what I like to do is go into my Logic Pro settings. I go to Logic Pro, go to settings, go to audio, and for my output device, I like to use loopback. So I have loopback set to my output device. And as you can see here, I use a Scarlett Focusrite 2i2 interface. So I use that as my input device. Next, you wanna go back to Logic Pro, Settings, go to MIDI, make sure you have the Inputs tab clicked and just make sure all of your available MIDI ports are selected here and turned on. Okay, now that we have the settings the way that we want, I'm gonna use Atlas for an example. I have a drum kit loaded here. So the first thing that I do on the MPC is go down to where it says Drum 1, take the data wheel, turn that back to MIDI. Use the cursor, go over to where it says off, take the wheel and turn that to 1A device 01. Once you've done that, you'll be able to hit the pads on the MPC and hear exactly what you have loaded in Logic. You'll notice that the default pad settings in the MPC are scrambled. They're actually not in the same order as the settings in Logic. So you're gonna have to go in, press shift, program, drum one, make sure you take the cursor over to where it says note, make sure note is highlighted. As you can see, this first pad is on 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. And I made those adjustments prior to the video just to make this demonstration, but this pad is actually not in line with Logic Pro. So I'm gonna have to take this pad, use the wheel and change that pad to 42. Now it's in sync. Now that we've set up the MPC as a controller, I'm gonna show you how I toggle between controller and standalone. I go back to the MIDI selection, use the wheel, turn that to drum one, take the cursor, jump over to 1A, take the wheel and turn it back to off. I have a couple of sounds already preloaded into the MPC. And if I wanna use that, I can now record that as audio into my Logic session. Let's record a MIDI take. Okay, let's play it back. So that was the MIDI take using this as a controller. So now we're gonna record the MPC in audio as a standalone to add to that MIDI track we just recorded. Make sure your audio track is armed in Logic. Let's play it back. Now that I have my audio recorded straight from the MPC into Logic Pro, I can now use all of Logic Pro's features. For example, the flex feature to quantize my audio if I need to. And that's how I use my MPC 2000 XL as a controller and a standalone hybrid. Thank you for watching.